ओम श्री साई राम थाई पर्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम सी वी ऑल नो दैट वी हैव एजुकेशन विंग फंक्शनिंग इन अवर सिस्टम ऑफ सच साई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द एजुकेशन विंग comprises balavikas or you may call yes yes e such as i education as in the west and it also includes study circles educare education in human values so on so forth i am not involved in any of these wings today as a retired long back however my 50 years of association with the sai organization forces me to share with you some of my views and ideas the main purpose of avatar is to set before us an ideal life by his own example like rama like krishna all incarnations all avatars noble souls saints or seers are prophets their lives are exemplary and we have to learn from their lives from their biography the way how to conduct ourselves emulate their examples and share the values that we learn from their biography perhaps is not necessary to go in detail all these aspects but i will only highlight the major points for those who are involved in education wing can elaborate can dive deep into the subject do some research and improve our quality in our presentation before i start let me be very clear that today we have a generation of children who are quite different from the past and two we are one among the many of the contemporary spiritual organizations spread all over the world doing similar activity three children today are very inquisitive logical rational scientific in their thinking during my travels abroad i have learned many things how sharp the children are how intelligent they are therefore our presentation should be in tune with the times that we live in so it's completely left to you to elaborate every point that i would like to bring to your notice the bottom line is that you have to learn learn and learn continue to learn from the lives of these avatars our incarnations the first and foremost point is bhagwan laid emphasis on vegetarianism he wants us to be vegetarians this he declared in the hindu stadium on his birthday bhagwan 
had a natural aversion for non-vegetarian dishes from his childhood. Invariably, he would later repair to his grandfather, Kondamarazu, and eat with him. The aged grandparents took great pride in feeding their saintly little grandson. The neighbors called him Brahmadjnani because of his aversion to violence and love towards all creation. When the village urchins would carry a hen hanging upside down or kick a dog in Satya's presence, Satya would feel miserable. Yet he would never complain to anyone about it. He avoided places of animal slaughter and fishing yards. When a bird was selected as a future meal, Satchanarayana, the little boy, would run towards it, clasp it to his bosom and fondle it as if the extra love poured on it would induce the elders to relent and spare the fowl. So, vegetarianism should be a discipline that is followed by Sai devotees and this has to be further propagated. And second thing, as I traveled with him many times, I noticed that he cannot bear the sight of any person suffering. He cannot see a beggar. He cannot see any person suffering from hunger. This is a kind of response that everyone should have towards the community. Today, in this mechanical world, most of us are indifferent, impertinent, and concentrate just on our career. And life is more or less self-centered. But the lesson that we can learn from Swami is to respond to the act when we find any suffering anywhere. His heart would melt at human suffering too. Whenever a beggar appeared at the door and raised his cry, Satya would stop his play and rush in to cajole his sisters to give the beggar some food. The adults were not willing to put up with this endless kindness to beggars. Sometimes Iswarama would catch hold of him and let the finger raised in warning, say, look here, you may give him food, but mind you, you will have to starve. That would not daunt the child. He used to run inside and bring out food to the hungry man at the door and stay away from his meal. Nothing and nobody could persuade him to come to his plate, which was left untouched. This is the second point I want to draw your attention. As I said, he cannot bear anybody starving. When such a refused food and persisted in the refusal for days, he showed no signs of starvation. He would insist that an old man had fed him sumptuously with balls of milk rice. That's really very great. As we all know, this kind of reaction and this kind of response from Swami in the later days shaped into 
narayan seva or feeding of the poor in later times third point bhagwan is seen many times helping old people i am a witness swami helping an old man catching hold of his hand making him walk helping him to cross the road ready to help the poor and the needy yes when satya began running about in the street he sought out the maimed the blind the decrepit and the diseased and led them by the hand to the door step of the parents home sisters and had to retrieve from the store or the kitchen see that ready to help the aged poor and needy and the fourth point swami's readiness and his insistence on doing bhajans when we do our work without bhajans it is the work becomes mechanical it has to be clubbed with chanting of his matchless name what we call bhajans and this bhajans has turned into a kind of 24 hour bhajans also a 12 hour bhajans in shivaratri 24 hours akhand global uh, bhajan like that swami is very particular of these bhajans as a child he started a group pandari bhajans pandari bhajans group being the leader of the group he has shown the leadership qualities he taught them bhajans and he made them dance he designed special dress to be worn by the participants his classmates to join in singing the glory of god he was 10 years old at that time leader of pandari bhajan group this is very spectacular point many other children joined this group with a scarf with its edge stitched with a red cloth around the neck a towel around the waist and another small towel around the head see this the pandari bhajans the spread in the neighboring villages so many neighboring villages all around and swami is very particular of the tune the rhythm and the beat very particular on the dais when he find students not singing well he would call the warden and strictly warn him so swami is particular bhajans to be rendered in a most systematic exact way one of his classmates reported if we did not perform properly follow the music for instance satya would hit us participating in a pandari bhajan session was not easy it was not easy then the next point a best example before the children in such a way that they started calling him guru guru the elders found this out on ramanavami festival celebrated in puttaparthi swami was their leader and all treated him as a guru they are taken in procession they were bullock cart and flower bedecked bullock cart 
with a priest seated next to it. And everybody saw this five-year-old Satya, brightly dressed, sitting in simple majesty under the decorated picture of Rama. It only means an exemplary behavior that he has set himself as a role model to everybody, made him rise to the position of a guru. As this is the beginning of uh, the values that I have learned from his uh, biography, I would stop at this and continue in the next session. Thank you for your time.